Hey everyone and welcome to Light Sirens Action. Today you've tuned in on a Medication Monday. Medication Monday is a quick little mini series that airs every single Monday where we highlight a different EMS drug that's administered out in the field. And we do it specifically in EMT drug card format. But as always, please abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is never intended to be a replacement for professional medical advice. Today's medication is called morphine sulfate, and its brand name is Astromorph. The class it falls under is narcotic analgesics. Your mechanism of action of morphine is going to be that it is an agonist of the opioid receptors. It disrupts the traditional pain pathways, so that decreases pain perception. It is a vasodilator. It decreases preload and afterload of the heart. Your indications are going to be pain relief for patients with moderate to severe pain, acute pulmonary edema, and CHF exacerbation sedation, and chest pain. Most EMS services don't encourage morphine for chest pain anymore. They encourage fentanyl, but it's still indicated. Before we get into dosages, just remember, as always, to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. The dose for morphine is 4 to 10 milligrams slow IV or IO push, and this is every 10 minutes to effect and or blood pressure. So morphine is a CNS depressant, so just be aware of the patient's blood pressure before and after administration. Your pediatric dose, which is going to be 2 to 12 years old is 0.05 to 0.1 milligrams per kilogram slow IV or IO push over two minutes titrated to effect. Do not give morphine if the systolic blood pressure is less than 100. And honestly, even if it's kind of close to there, 105, 110, just be really, really cautious when you're giving morphine. Your contraindications are going to be hypotension, respiratory depression, hypovolemia, delirium tremens, severe asthma, and severe COPD as well. Adverse reactions are going to be nausea, vomiting, hypotension, altered mental status, apnea, bradycardia, CNS depression, respiratory depression, sedation, and syncope. So probably the most common one I see out in the field is nausea and vomiting. And occasionally a patient will have an altered mental status, especially if they're not used to narcotics or don't really take medications at all. Drug interactions for morphine. Morphine can and will interact with benzodiazepines, other narcotics, sedatives, hypnotics, and alcohol by increasing CNS depression and hypotension. So it basically can act as a potentiator of all of these. If your patient is on muscle relaxers or benzos for anxiety or seizures, uh, things like this, just be aware that morphine will potentiate those medications. How it's supplied. It is supplied in two, four, eight, 10 milligram in one ml vials. A few side notes about morphine. If you've been in EMS for any amount of time, you probably remember when morphine was preached for cardiac related chest pain. And it's still indicated, but most services are moving away from it and going to fentanyl. Fentanyl tends to have less of an effect on your blood pressure. And also it, it's just science and studies that have been proving that whenever a patient that's experiencing a STEMI is given morphine, there are increased chances of morbidity. So just know your local protocol, be aware of that before you choose what medication to give during the course of a STEMI. All right, your peak effect for morphine is going to be 20 minutes. So most of the time your patients feel the morphine pretty much instantly, especially if they're going to get nauseous and vomit. But the peak effect is 20 minutes. Use with caution in patients that are elderly or possibly suffering from a head injury. It's always best to start off with a lower dose. So as we know, elderly do not metabolize medication the same as young adults. So if you're suspecting that your patient has a head injury, I would hold off on narcotics altogether, but always start low. And then if your patient, if it's an elderly patient is still in pain, you can always give a little bit more, but you can never take it back. So just so you guys know that. And if there were ever a case where you had a morphine overdose or you gave your patient too much, as you guys know, Narcan fixes that. So don't ever get stuck in a bad situation and think, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? They're barely breathing or they stopped breathing. Go back to your basics. Okay. It's a narcotic and Narcan fixes narcotic overdoses. Avoid morphine administration in patients that have taken MAOIs within the previous two weeks. It may cause unpredictable and potentially fatal reactions. Also, whenever you're administering morphine, make sure to take their blood pressure about two minutes before and about two minutes after. As we know, it's a CNS depressant, so we have to keep an eye on the blood pressure. Be aware that morphine is highly addictive, uh, so if you notice that you're running on the same patient and or they're requesting this medication and you start to suspect that they are drug seekers, 
just make sure to report this to your local supervisor because a narcotic addiction is a real thing and we see it on the streets all the time. Remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. Thank you guys for coming back and I will see you next week. Bye!